thanks for nothing on my 70th birthday. I want to give my thanks to everyone for everything. And as a token of my appreciation, I want to offer back to you all my good and bad habits as magnificent, priceless jewels, wish-fulfilling gems satisfying your every need and want. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks. May every drug I ever took come back and get you high. May every glass of vodka and wine I ever drank come back and make you feel really good, numbing your nerve ends, allowing the natural clarity of your mind to flow free. Thanks. May all the suicides be songs of aspiration. Thanks that bad news is always true. May all the chocolate I've ever eaten come back rushing through your bloodstream and make you feel happy. Thanks for allowing me to be a poet, a noble effort doomed but the only choice. I want to thank you for your kindness and praise. Thanks for celebrating me. Thanks for the resounding applause. Thanks for taking everything for yourself and giving nothing back. You are always only self-serving. Thanks for exploiting my big ego and making me a star for your own benefit. Thanks that you never paid me. Thanks for all the sleaze. Thanks. I am happy that you robbed me. I am happy that you lied. I am happy that you helped me. Thanks. Grazie. Merci beaucoup. May you smoke a joint with William and spend some intimate time with his mind, more profound than any book he wrote. I give enormous thanks to all my lovers, beautiful men with brilliant minds, great artists, Bob, Jasper, Ugo. May they come here and make love to you. And may my many other lovers of totally great sex, countless, countless lovers of boundless, fabulous sex, countless lovers of boundless, fabulous sex, countless lovers of boundless, fabulous sex, in the golden age of promiscuity, may they all come here and make love to you if you want. May they hold you in their arms, bawling to your heart's delight, bawling to your heart's delight, bawling to your heart's delight. May, may all the people who are dead, Alan, Brian, Lita, Jack, and I do not miss any of you I don't miss any of them, no nostalgia. It was wonderful that we loved each other, but I don't want any of them back. Now, if any of you are attracted to any of them, may they come back from the dead and do whatever is your pleasure. May they multiply and be the slaves of whomever wants them, satisfying your every need and desire. But you won't want them as masters, as their demons. May Andy come here 
fall in love with you and make each of you a superstar. Everyone can have a Nandy, everyone can have a Nandy, everyone can have Andy. Huge hugs to my friends who betrayed me. Every friend became an enemy sooner or later. Big kisses to my loves that failed. I am delighted you are vacuum cleaners, sucking everything into your dirt bag. You are none other than a reflection of my mind. Thanks for the depression problem and feeling like suicide every day of my life. And now that I'm 70, I'm happily almost there. 20 billion years ago, in the primordial, you primordial wisdom soup, beyond comprehension and indescribable, something without substance moved slightly and became something imperceptible, moved again and became something invisible, moved again and produced a particle and particles, moved again and produced a quark and again and made, became quarks and moved again and again and became protons and neutrons and the 12 dimensions of space. Tiny fireballs of primordial energy tossed back and forth in a game of catch between particles. Transmitting electromagnetic light and going fast. 40 million times a second, where the pebble hits the water. This is where the trouble began. Something without substance became something with substance. Why did this happen? Because something substance-less had a feeling of missing out on something. Not getting it, not getting it, was not getting it, not getting it. Clinging to a, clinging to a notion of reality. From the primordially endless potential to modern day reality, 20 billion years later, has produced me, has given birth to me and my stupid grasping mind has made me and you and my grasping mind. May all, may Rinpoche and all the great Tibetan teachers who loved me come back and love you more. May they hold you in their wisdom hearts bathe you in all pervasive compassion, give you pith instructions, and may you, with the diligence of Olympic athletes, do meditation practice, and with great confidence, may you realize the true nature of mind. America, thanks for the neglect. I did it without you. Let us celebrate poetic justice. You and I never were, never tried to do anything, and never succeeded. Thanks for nothing.